Hello, I'm acoustic guitar senior editor Thea Gurken, and I'm here with Rain Song's new P12R Parlor guitar. Like all Rain Songs, this P12R Parlor is almost entirely made out of carbon fiber. Specifically, it has a unidirectional carbon fiber top, carbon and glass fiber hybrid back and sides, and an all graphite neck. As a matter of fact, the uh, top, the unidirectional top, allows them to do a, a layered approach, and there's no braces in there whatsoever. The material itself is strong enough to uh, be able to work without braces. The uh, fingerboard and bridge are also made from a composite material, and the guitar has a list price of $2,666, and it sells for about $2,000 with a hard shell case. As you can see and recognize from the guitar's name, the P12R Parlor is a small parlor size instrument. The version I have here has a short scale of 24.875 inches and a 12 fret neck joint. But Rainsong also offers the guitar with a 14 fret neck and a longer scale. The guitar is a nut width of 1 and 3 quarter inches, and it's outfitted with a set of chrome plated Goto tuning machines. The guitar includes a Fishman Prefix Plus T amplification package. This consists of a pickup mounted under the guitar's saddle and a preamp that's mounted into the side. The preamp includes controls for volume, bass, treble, and brilliance, as well as a set of contour controls, which are essentially a semi-parametric mid-range control. There's also a button for reversing the phase, a notch filter, and a built-in chromatic tuner that really works quite well. Since you already heard me play the guitar acoustically in the intro to this video, let's have a listen to how the guitar sounds like played through our Fishman Loudbox 100 amp here. So that's with the guitar uh, basically set completely flat. I had the bass just boosted a tiny little bit. Let me kind of show you how the different controls work on the preamp. They're um, very effective. Uh, you can tell if I use the bass control, I can boost the bass quite a bit, cut it quite a bit, but it's in a very musical kind of a way. Uh, so if I went back to completely f uh, flat setting, it would be like this. Bass boosted a little bit. It's almost a little bit too much right there. The uh, treble. Also very effective if you needed to cut through the mix a little bit or felt like something was a little bit muffled, you could use the treble control. And the brilliance control goes up even a little bit higher than the treble in frequency. And it could really work well in kind of a, a dead sounding room or something like that to just add a little bit of... Uh, of sparkle. Uh, the contour control, as I mentioned, is basically a semi-parametric EQ uh, for the mid control, and that means that one slider selects the frequency and the other one selects the cut or boost of the particular frequency. So if I wanted to, say, um, demonstrate it, I'm going to uh, do the boosting by 12 dB completely and then go through the range of frequencies that could be, could be cut. Sometimes it's best to listen to the sort of sound that is the, the worst, dial that in. That's pretty unnatural sounding there. And then you can you can cut that sound quite a bit and uh, combine it with the other controls, often get a very natural sound as the result, just by going completely, cutting the, the offending frequency, so to speak. Um, the notch filter, I, it's hard for me to demonstrate here because I'm not at a high enough, vo enough volume uh, to get feedback, but that is what it's there for, to fight feedback. I know from previous experience with Fishman preamps that their notch filter works very well. It cuts out a very small notch uh, range and uh, doesn't affect the overall sound of the guitar too much. Same with the uh, phase control, which of course is used to uh, get the proper interaction between the guitar and the speaker. It's always good to try both ways uh, to see which one suits the guitar better. And the tuner actually mutes the guitar if I hit it, uh, so you can tune silently on stage without your audience having to listen to that. Guitars can sound quite differently from one player to the next, so let's also listen to uh, acoustic guitar editor Scott Nygaard playing the rain song with a flat pick. Uh, in this case, he's going to play it acoustically without the amplification. So 
So that's the Rain Song P12R Parlor. I should also say that the guitar is available in a variety of colors. So if this burgundy red isn't your favorite, there are other options. You can read the review in the print or digital issues of Acoustic Guitar or online at AcousticGuitar.com. For Acoustic Guitar, I'm Taya Gherkin.